Hello. It's another lovely sunny day. Uh, it is quite breezy. So if you can hear a lot of wind uh, on the video, I'm sorry. Uh, it has moments of being very, very calm and then suddenly uh, there's a big gust of wind coming through. Uh, and obviously I don't know when that's going to happen. <laughs> I've been out here this morning uh, making another uh, raised bed. Although it's got sides, it's not actually the inside of it isn't going to be raised this year. And that's because uh, it's where I laid the plastic sheeting down to kill off the weeds last autumn. Uh, and it hasn't really had very long uh, to, to kill off those weeds. So I don't really want to lift it, uh, expose all those seeds uh, to the light. Uh, and then just have a bed full of weeds again. So I'm going to leave it with the plastic on it uh, for another year and just make small cuts in the plastic and plant through it, which hopefully uh, means that we'll only get the weeds growing literally where I've cut the plastic uh, and I can keep some of those under control. It's another bed for uh, the tall brassicas. So I've put the hoops in. I've only put four hoops in this one um, because I'm going to have to put some sort of support uh, to stop the hoops from moving in the wind anyway. Uh, so I thought as this is a less windy site uh, than some of the others where I want to... Uh... There's already a cabbage white butterfly flying around. <laughs> so isn't it a good job I'm making these brassica tunnels uh, and I will make sure that I've got the netting up and I'll, I'll be underneath the netting planting uh, before uh, those butterflies get a chance to land on those little young brassicas and lay their eggs on them. to you and, uh, and then I'm going to be cracking on with it. So it's one of those days where uh, Mr J has done loads and loads of prep work uh, which means that I can kind of get on with the next stage and that's to, to cover some of the areas uh, where he's done the weed whacking. So there's a load of space cleared uh, in the pumpkin patch or what we call in the pumpkin patch um, and I can get a load more cardboard down there and and hopefully um, over the next couple of days we'll be able to create another one or two raised beds there uh, and whether I grow in them as raised beds uh, or not this year uh, remains to be seen but um, it would be good to get them prepared uh, and just prevent the weeds uh, getting really really tall again this year uh, as they have done in the last couple of years. Once again I'm going to have the issue of how to uh, fix it around the base uh, so that I can access it, uh, but so that it doesn't blow around in the wind and let the uh, butterflies and moths in there. And I'm going to have to think more carefully about this one because uh, there isn't really anything I can rest a piece of wood on um, to make it easy. Now I could, I could push the, the tunnel down a little bit so it was a little bit lower uh, and that might be the answer. Um, but I know these brassicas, <laughs> they get really tall uh, and they get quite wide as well. Uh, and the lower I push this, uh, the narrower it is at the top. I shall find a solution. At the end, uh, I've tucked it in uh, underneath and I can just hold this down with a brick. And I'll do the same uh, at the other end and then I'll use pieces of wood along the side uh, inside uh, just to hold it in place. I think that will work. So I've alternated the uh, 
red kale and the cavalodonia red kale uh, going down and I've left a few in there uh, which will be my sacrifice ones that will go over uh, to the back of the diesel field um, but I've left them here now so that um, they don't dry out and they don't also I don't forget about them actually um, but in the meantime they're not being got by butterflies and if one of these ones dies uh, I've got a replacement uh, at least for a couple of weeks until I plant those ones out. Well it seems like uh, my intentions for the day uh, to get loads done uh, has failed again. I don't know where the day goes but uh, I'm now uh, taking the bits of pallet that Mr J has cut up uh, and bagging them up. So excuse the noise. I was reading somebody's comment uh, online the other day uh, about homesteading or small holding. Um, that was saying about 50% of your time, at least 50% of your time, is spent on maintenance jobs uh, and nothing more glamorous than just stopping things from falling apart. And they're right. You may be able to hear uh, some noise in the background and it's my neighbours uh, doing maintenance jobs. But I know there are people who watch uh, who aren't part of this life yet. Ginger. And there's nothing glamorous about this lifestyle at all but it's really nice. So uh, I'm using uh, one of our feed sacks uh, for the chickens uh, because they're made out of paper uh, so they will allow the wood to breathe if that makes sense. They'll stop it getting sweaty um, and it will be stored uh, on some pallets that will be raised off the ground and hopefully this will stay dry uh, in one of the unused piggeries so we need it in the um, autumn and winter. One of the failings I've just spotted uh, of using all those paper bags is that piece of wood has just torn a hole in it. I'm not going to reload it all, uh, it's near the bottom. You'll just have to be careful with it. As you can see behind me here, I've still got a few more boxes to go through. So I think I'd better get on with that. And so wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today, I hope it's a good one. And I also hope you'll join me again tomorrow.